Okay, so Riaz, the first question I have for you is, um, why was the character name Dilemma chosen? Um, For me, I was looking for a really cool name that was kind of destructive, but um, I ran across Dilemma while doing <laughs> a thesaurus, re- um, you know, search, and I don't know, it just sounds really cool, and I really liked um, that it was problematic. Okay. And what what was the shooting of the video like? What was that experience like? Um, it was really amazing actually. We we got to really be our characters that we chose to be and it was so fun um being able to do some of the things that are in the video. Coming from a TV show based uh career to a music video, what was that transition like? Um, it was amazing because I got to really play and um, to be a character that, that was doing awesome things like music videos and really um, big sets and stuff like that to really being on one. So seeing how it all moved and um, how one's creative vision came to life was really, really amazing. Your outfit in the poster is very fierce. How did you yeah. physically get re- get ready and shape for the for this character? Honestly, I I try to stay in shape and run and, and do all that kind of stuff and cardio and stuff like that. But I I wasn't sure about the outfit till I got there and I was completely blown away and I loved it. The music video just mm-hmm. premiered during the Billboard Music Awards. Is this the first time you saw the the video finished? Yes. Yeah very first time. Um, do you have any plans to collaborate with anyone that you in the video with a song? Oh, man. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but collaborations would be amazing for um, my upcoming project. So with, any, with a lot of people I have in mind. So that would be really cool. Okay. Did you know all the girls that were involved before and who surprised you the most? I didn't know a lot. I didn't know any of the girls before. Um, and I, I wasn't super uh, shocked at anyone that was there. All beautiful ladies and uh, very talented at what they do. And um, I don't know. I was really, really just thankful that I could be, you know, in the vicinity of them. They're all really, really um, talented, like I said, and uh, successful. What they do. There's a lot of big names involved in this video. Did you ever feel like you were like a fan on the set? Um, yeah, I love Haley um, Williams and um, let me see who else. And I was a, I was a really big fan of Zendaya and her show on Disney Channel. <laughs> What was the vibe on set with Kendrick Lamar? Um, I actually, I wasn't there when Kendrick Lamar um, was shooting, so I wouldn't know. Uh, Empire was your first acting job. Do you think the show was going to be such a big hit when you were cast for it? Um, I I did think that it would be big because of Taraji and uh, Malik and Terrence, very big names and I mean, amazing actors, so I knew it was going to be pretty big, but to be number one and to break records and things like that is only something that I wished for, so. What are your hopes for season two? Two, I would I would like to see a lot of um, each character's, you know, personal battles um, in more detail. That would be really great. Okay. What what aspect of Tiana's character was the most fun to explore, and um, what aspect are you hoping to explore more of or explo- exploit more of? Um, I think one facet of hers that was really cool to explore was her um, just determination and, and, and drive for her music and her performances and her career. So nothing was going to stop that. Also, when she had the softer moment with Taraji speaking about her mother, um, that was just hinting at something about her personal, her character and her past. So that was really something that I loved about um, 
me feeling about my character on Empire. What is your favorite song from season one? You are so beautiful. Um, I know you've got this question before. A lot of people think your character is based on Rihanna. Was she influential or accidental to your uh, to your portrayal of the character? I think um, I I did look at her and Beyonce and um, other pop stars. Uh, Pink. They, they're so fierce and they um, they own every moment that they give. So I was really. Uh, you know, channeling them for her attitude, for Tiana's attitude, and for her music. How much input did you have in the music on the sh- in the show? Since you're an artist yourself, did you write or contribute your own music? I didn't. Um, a lot of what was written for me, I was in the studio with Jim Dean, and um, he created. He's such a genius, by the way, but he created a lot of the sound and um, the music and the lyrics uh, for the songs that I was on. And uh, I did get to do some ad-libbing and put a little bit of my sauce on it, (laughs) but it was was definitely um, already made. Um, Are you working on any new music right now? I am. And I'm super excited Um. for it. Um, It's going to be, you know... mixed between pop and R&B, which are my favorite two genres of music, because um, they give you such different feels of this emotion. So I'm really excited for my fans to hear it. Okay. And how would you describe uh, Soraya's sound? Um, definitely similar to Tiana, if, if that was, you know, to compare it. But more poultry and a little bit lighter and more poppy. We heard you have a mixtape coming out as well. Um, can uh, Do you have any special guests lined up or features that you could talk about? Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Right. okay. Um, and last question, if you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be and why? Mm. I would have to I would love to do a song with maybe like um, maybe Big Sean. He makes some really cool, fun um, radio records that I mean, every in his new album I completely adore. So uh, I love his music and his style is very authentic. So I, I would love to create something off the wall with it. 